Hello everybody. I'm going to be canning some pork today. My son just got done cutting up. We got uh, a package that had four sh uh, shoulder rails in it, I think. And he cut up all this meat off of it. And he only got this much fat, which I will render out. Not, not right this minute. I've also got back here some sausage that I'm going to scramble up in a skillet can it and I'm raw packing the meat it's not something I usually do but it's going to save me a little bit of time so uh, I've already got some jars in here in the canner got all my water in there and I've got my lids and rings over here I'll get them over where I can reach them better but uh, so excuse the mess here because I just decided on the spur of the moment that I wanted to go ahead and do a little video on raw packing meat. So I'll bring you right back. These jars are not hot. And the meat is cold because it's raw. Just going to drop the pieces down in here. You would do pork, uh, beef this way or chicken, either any of them, venison, bear meat, whatever you're canning if you're doing raw pack. Now, you don't push it down in tamp it like that so the meat pieces will settle in there without getting densely packed right this will get enough meat in this jar because I'm not going to use any water or broth in it that meat might be too much so now I'm going to get a teaspoon of half a teaspoon of salt to put in here and then wipe the rim and put on the lid and ring. Wipe all the debris, meat debris, and any grease or fat that's on the uh, rim of the jar. Put on a lid. Put on a ring. The rings and lids do not have to be heated. Yeah, that's plenty tight. And there it is. There's the first jar of it. And I'll bring you back when I get them all in the canner. This one does have water in it because it wasn't quite enough for a full pint. And there was too much for a half pint. So that'll make jar number nine in the bottom of the canner. And now I'm going to brown up my sausage so I can get it canned. Um, I'll give you a link to my sausage canning video from the past. For 10 minutes, and I brought it up to pressure, and that's my weight rocking. It's a little bit fast, but I'll turn the heat down a little bit. If you can see that, yeah. And I'll bring you back when I get ready to take the jars out. Okay, right here is my three jars of sausage that I canned. I wound up with nine jars of pork, and nine pint jars, and three pints. Of sausage so let me get these out I'm gonna get the pork out I'll bring you right back okay there we are you can see if you remember I only put water in one and now I don't remember which one it was I think it was that one there but the rest of them the rest of them were all raw packed with no extra water just meat and salt and you can see that they will make their own broth. But you can also see the jars are quite messy on the inside. They're a little more difficult to clean. So, here we are. Nine pints of pork cubes. Three pints of sausage. And in this other pot... I have some green onions that were left from where well, we didn't use them all, some wild garlic, and the pork bones that I roasted while the meat was canning so you get some color to them. So I'm making a uh, broth with them. Now that black stuff you see on there is just. Uh, Proteins and blood coming out. 
and uh, we will get these simmered down where they're nice and tender and I will probably just pick the meat off and eat it and then strain the broth and can it but uh, that's not going to be for today uh, not for today's video anyway there you go all done uh, my main project was the pork and the sausage so thanks for watching be sure to like share subscribe comment click the little notification bell so you'll know when I have a new video out